Welcome back to another exciting episode of What the Fuck's for Dinner. I'm here with my lovely wife, Teresa. And we are tonight, we're going to do a great episode. We're going to do pizza cheeseburgers. you ain't never seen nothing like this with, with uh, potato wedges with a twist. What are they called? Just uh, blooming potato wedges. Blooming potato wedges. And again, always that we start what the fuck for dinner for, we're going to do a salute, a salute, a shot to the food gods. Salute. You guys are playing at home. Every time we say fuck, you got to do a shot. So we'll see how it goes. So with that, let's get going. All right. I just have an apple slicer. You can pick them up the dollar store for a dollar. It usually works better with a red potato, but I didn't have any today, so we're just using regular baking potatoes. So you just kind of... Take it down and wedge your potato. You don't want to go all the way down. You want to give it about an inch or so. And this potato is very crooked. Just be careful. Don't cut yourself. Just kind of pull it back up. And then the center core, you just kind of cut it out with a knife. You're going to get like a flower shape. So. Like I said, it looks really pretty with the red, um, red potatoes. It's going to be a nice presentation. I'm not going to keep that part. You want to try to center food. it as much as you can. I just flatten the top and the bottom. It did go so much easier earlier. These potatoes are hard, so if you had the other potatoes, it might go a little easier. Come on, baby, push, push, bang. Push real good. And you're gonna have to get these in the oven first. That's why we're starting with the potatoes, and then we're gonna do the cheeseburger pizza, which is gonna be amazing. It's our twist on it. It's uh, there's a couple versions out there, but they're really messy. We're gonna want the burger to be able to eat when you're done. So. All right. Yeah, get that all done. I'm just going to brush them down with some olive oil. Get it all nice inside. You can do little fun stuffers with these. You can put um, ground beef in them. You can put broccoli and cheese, whatever you want. If you're doing a little entertaining, a little party. You can make it a little fancy. We're just doing wedges. We're just doing little wedges because we're just doing burgers tonight. Quick, quick. We're mixing the pizza with the burger, which is the twist on it. But when you combine the burger with the pizza, it's going to be amazing because everybody loves burgers, everybody loves pizza. Sure and now we're going to have pizza and burger together. It's going to be amazing. And she just got the olive oil. She's brushing it on there. Then you're going to season them up. And you're going to throw them in the oven and they're going to be ridiculous. How long do they take on? Um, Depending on what potato and the size, probably 45 minutes to an hour. I'm cooking them on 425. It's really hot in here. I know what the fuck for dinner is doing. Yes, it is. Today I'm just using a pre-made bacon and chive seasoning, which is really, really good. It goes really good with the burgers. Um, but you can use, you know, your paprika, onion, um, garlic, salt, pepper, or whatever spices you like to use. And we're just going to cover these up real nice in there, get it all kind of in between. You guys have been with us a while, you know that we just like to give you dinner ideas so you know what to do, what to cook, when to cook them, uh, different ideas, keep it fresh so people don't get bored with the same old shit. You always want to think outside the box. This channel is going to give you some ideas. Hit your subscribe button, hit your like button. And your twists and spins to it. Yeah, you know, the burger. I think we got a real nice one going for you. I think you're going to love it. It's going to be ridiculous. The kids will be re-up. All right. They'll love you when you start making this shit. Because you know how kids are. We know how kids are. Kids are a little bigger than but when they were little, they'd be like, Mama, 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 Mama. And then she'd say, What? I'd say, What's for dinner, Mama? And then she'd say, Shit! And then you go back to your brother, and they go back to them, and, uh, 
What's want to make it for dinner? Shit! <laughs> so, because you know them little pieces of joy never piss you off. Never they're just, ever. They're, they're always just so Fun precious. Of true joy. So there you see. All <coughs> seasoned up. Alrighty. So we're just gonna go ahead and throw these in the oven. It's got a 4:25, 50 minutes to an hour. Use your judgment. And uh, let it cook right there. All right. All right. That's it for this portion. We're going to be right back. Get the burgers going. So I'm to knock out these pizza burgers. It's going to be ridiculous. We're going to bake the buns. We'll be right back. What the fuck's for dinner? All right, we're back. Now, what the fuck for dinner? We're going to do our pizza burgers. We're going to start them right now. So I have uh, about two pounds of ground beef. You can put whatever seasonings you'd like, but we're just going to go with some garlic. Salt and pepper. Oh, well, it's a hot motherfucker here today. There is red pepper flakes. And she has a sheet pan with with a screen. Little mm -hmm. burger seasoning. You do this with the with with that screen there, and the burgers come out so much better. They don't shrink as much and you get much nice, healthier than frying them. Nice big burgers. The, the juice goes underneath. So and we got uh and since these are pizza burgers we're gonna put our toppings inside of our meat. So we got bacon, onions and green pepper. So whatever you like on your pizza you can put right in your burger. A little bit of pizza sauce. That's it. Mix them all up and patty it. So we were sick of being cooped up and the ball game started back up. So I'm a big White Sox fan. So I, I told him, uh, my girl, I said, let's go to the ball game. So we went to the ball game, you know, and everybody's used to these lines and shit now. They got the security shit and everything, you know, you go out to eat, you got to wait in fucking line. They don't even open up the inside anymore. They still got the damn drive throughs open. And everybody's just used to waiting in these damn lines. So we get down to Tiger Stadium. We go to our parking. We get in there and we pay our $30 to park or whatever. We get in there and we walk up to the stadium. We get all up in there. And uh, she's got her big-ass purse. And it's Michael Kors purse. Big ass purse, which nothing in it. Ladies, yeah, there's nothing in it. But every time I ask for something, I said, "Baby, you got this." Yeah, I got that. I got. I could ask for a screwdriver, drill, anything. I mean, she has everything in there. So we're standing in a line, and we're almost up to the front. So, so the security guard, she comes walking up, and all of a sudden we hear, "Oh hell no, hell no." Honey, that bag's way too big. You can't go in there with that bag. I mean, I don't know why they just can't search for bags. So I'm, I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm like, okay, fuck it. So they go, you can take it back to the car, or we can check it, and you can pick it up after. Well, we ain't giving a motherfucker a purse, so. I don't care if you are security or whatever the fuck you are. Tiger State has got a badge. I got a badge, so, you know. So we decided to go back to the car. Go back to the car, we stick the purse in, in the trunk, you know. Because I figure, you know, if you get robbed and they pop the trunk, then they can get everything. But then we get back up to the door and we get back in line. And they got the security thing. So we're going up in there. And I got my tag top and I'm there. And she's got her wallet now. And so I'm thinking we're going to have no issues now. Everything's fucking cool. So she walks through the metal detector. Fine. I walk through. This fucking thing starts lighting up like a son of a bitch. And I'm like, oh, fuck my belt. So I take off my belt, put my belt there, she got my keys, she got the wallet and everything, and we're fucking like, okay. But go back through it again, that fucking thing still goes off. So I'm like, what the fuck I got? I got my shorts, you know. So then I go back through it again, and then it fucking goes off again. 
Next thing you know, this vato comes out of the fucking room. You know, the cow vato, they're asking me questions like, uh, how you doing, sir? Oh, you having problems with going through the metal detector? I go, I ain't having no motherfucking problems. Your machine's going stupid. So I've got my shorts down. I'm fucking standing there in my underwear with my dick in my hand. And I'm just like, dude, I just paid $67 a ticket. We want to go watch the ball game. It's already the second fucking inning. So we're, we're like, fuck, it's, it's the second goddamn inning already. So finally, this son of a bitch, they finally let me go through. So we get in there, it's the second inning, we, we get to our seats, we sit down. The Sox were kicking the Tigers' ass. The Sox ass. were already kicking their ass, it was five to one or some shit. So we said we want a beer. So we go back and we get in this long ass fucking line to get a beer. So then uh, she's got two 20s. We're just getting two beers, I know we got two 20s for sure. You see the prices. So, okay, $13 a fucking beer. Okay, so that's fine. But they got these nice pretzels. And they got them in this machine and they're fucking going. I said, well, I want a Not fucking pretzel. And pretzel. Mm. I'm gonna have a ball game, I want a motherfucking pretzel. So the lady tells me, oh, I just put the pretzels in there. They're not ready, sir. Come back in a half hour and they'll be ready. Ah, oh, fucking hell no. So then I got cash, so I start paying with cash. They don't take cash. You gotta have your fucking card. So then we pay with the card. But she goes, I can take tips and fucking in cash, so I'm just like, what the fuck? You can take tips. I can't even get a fucking pretzel. I just spent $26 for fucking two beers. So, we get our beer, we go back to our seats, we have our beer. But this time, it's like the fourth inning. And, uh, <laughs> and we're sitting there, and the Sox are, the, the score is like 10 to 1 now. And then uh, we're watching, and boom, a home run. That's 13 to 1. And it's like the whole row is silent and everything. And then she looks up at me and she goes, Honey, do, do they have a mercy rule in baseball? I go, not in major leagues. This is, these are the big boys. They actually okay, know what so they're doing. The little, the little uh, And the whole row thing. starts fucking laughing. And I'm like, she don't know much about baseball. She goes, well, there should be a rule like that. So anyways, we're, we're fucking there. And, and then... Uh, Long story short, that was fucking 15 to 1, 15, he went back for two more beers, spent 60 bucks on beer, 67, the game's fucking a blowout. So, but we had a nice time up. It was about the seventh inning, you know, hot as fuck. But then, uh, you know, we had to spend about $250 to watch five innings of baseball. But the five innings of baseball, I literally took like four fucking hours. So... It's just amazing how comfortable we got standing in fucking lines and giving our m money away for, you know, shit. So, that's the long story short. You see the beautiful patty schmidt. The buns we're going to toast. And that's butter. Just put it in the mi microwave for a few seconds. And you're just going to butter the buns. Rub these in for about a half hour. And they'll come out perfect and big and huge. We're just going to garlic these up. This is a super easy dinner, but if you go burger pizzas for your kids, and when you see this at the end, they're gonna go nuts. Cause it's a combo. And some people like to put the damn cheese on top and you know, all that shit, but you know, then it's messy. I wanna keep it, keep it traditional. This is a traditional family, so we won't be able to grab a fucking burger and eat the goddamn thing. So, we got that. I need seasoning. I already put the garlic and everything in uh, butter for okay. you. Okay, alright, cool. So you got your buns. We're going to bake those. We're going to do another shot. Come in. Boy, we'll bake them out. Then you're going to bake your buns. We're going to flip them about halfway through so we get the tops and bottoms a little brown because the pizza, you like the oven baking with a little, little, little crisp on it. Then we're going to sauce them up, sauce them, cheese them, pepperoni them, burger them. They're going to be fucking amazing. Awesome. Yeah. And like my wife says, there should be a mercy rule in fucking baseball. Because when the score is 15 and nothing, and it's a thousand degrees, and we, you're spending $26 for two beers, God, you're going to drink a lot, you know. So, salute. We'll be right back. Cheers. Cheers. Go down 
out smoother as you go, guys. But get your wife, go spend 20 bucks, and make a fucking dinner that people are going to remember. We'll be right back on What the Fuck's for Dinner! All right, we're back on what the fuck's for dinner. Here we are. We have the burgers. You see, if you get this tray, they come out healthier. They don't shrink as much. You can see how and good they look. Not being fried in the grease, they're healthy. All we did was a little pizza sauce on them. The bottom bun, we just sauced them. We toasted the bun. So then you're just going to put your pepperoni on it. Load it up. You're gonna cheese it up. That's good right there. And then you're gonna put your burgers back on here. Like this. And what you're gonna have is an amazing. I'll add an extra one. Oh, we got an extra <laughs> burger. That's okay though. Rex! How do you think you might want one? A little bit of yes, cheese on he's top. Here. He's here in the kitchen. He's waiting for us to drop. Chef Rex. Okay. And then we got our buns. They're all toasted. We're going to throw these back like this. Get some hot. Hot. We're going to throw them back in the oven for a little bit here. Oh, the, potatoes. Uh, the potatoes are just coming out of the oven. The potatoes are coming out. Show them the potatoes. The potatoes are coming out. Put them Beautiful. out. I'm going to put these back in for a couple minutes, just melt the cheese a little bit. We'll be right the fuck back on what the fuck's for dinner. Now right, we're back on what the fuck's for dinner tonight. Tonight we made the most amazing pizza burger you ever saw in your life. It's still finger friendly where you can pick it up. And we have, what do you call these fries? The Bloomin' Potato Wedges. Bloomin' Potato Wedges. You can see they came out like flowers. They just pluck right off. You dip them. You can see it. It's just, it's amazing. Look at that. You see it. You got your pizza. You got your burger. You got all your pizza fixings on the inside. This is falling down on me. You got the idea. You pull apart. You grab them. Make your sriracha sauce or whatever you want to make with the motherfuckers. Your favorite dipping sauce and uh, there it is. Great Simple, free easy. Dinner. Everything's getting so fucking expensive now. The meat's going through the roof. Fucking rent's going through the roof. The housing market's going through the roof. Yeah. Anywhere you motherfuckers can save some money, that's why we're here. We're here to help you people. Save money. Subscribe. Like my channel. We're going to do some street tacos next. You're going to love them. With a twist. With some cilantro. It's going to be fucking amazing. That's coming out in the next couple of days. So, with that. See you, babe. Great amazing dinner. That's it for tonight. Huh? What the fuck's for dinner?